Hey friends, I want to welcome you to this video and I, I want to thank a couple people for inspiring me to um, get back into doing videos. Um, one inspiration came from my brother Paul who uh, called me with an amazing thought this week that inspired me to say, hey, you know what, we need to talk about this. We need to have some conversations about this topic. And second is uh, Raleigh Thornton who, um, man, he's been inspiring me with his videos as of late. So brother Raleigh, thank you. And brother Paul, thank you so much for your inspiration in my life. But let's get to the point here. My brother Paul called me this week and he, he made this statement about something we were talking about in our um, in our study we've been doing in the book Unshakable Hope. And one of the th topics that came to discussion was how we are made in the image of God. Now, before we go on any further, if you don't believe in the Bible, I'm not I'm not one to force that on anybody, but just for a moment, say to yourself, I am made in the image of God. I am made in the image of God. Say that over and over and over again. I am made in the image of God. Now, think about this for a moment. Every single person you have ever met in your life or every single person that you will meet is also made in the image of God. And let's go a step further. Every single person you will never meet who has a heart, who has lungs, who is existing as a human being on the face of this planet is made in the image of God. Here's the problem I think we have in our society today is too few of us have come to the point where we realize that we are each and every one made in the image of God. Years ago, I heard a statement. I don't know where I heard it. I wish I could give credit to it, but this is one I have adopted for myself, that every single person I ever meet has the same fingerprints left on their heart by their creator that were left on mine by my creator. I think that is the biggest issue we have today in our society is we don't recognize each other's divine creation, that that our origin has come from a single source, and that source is God, that he breathed his ruah into us, his breath of life into us. So I, I just wanted to share that thought and, and in a way kind of just draw us to a hopeful place where we say, you know what, I'm going to look at people a little differently tomorrow than I did today. And the arguments, when we look at that at, at, from that angle, the arguments over such nonsense as politics and the way we see things, it just can't go on the way it's going on because we have to look at each other in a new way if we accept that we are each and every one made in the image of God. Now, this is a good thought, of course, but what if we actually put it in practice? That's the big thing. We could sit here and watch this video and say, yeah, that's nice, Chris. Next, click, go on to the next thing. But what if we actually put it into practice for ourselves and we're active about the process of accepting one another's creation status, if you will? They're, they're made by description that's on the back of everybody's label. You know, when you buy these toys, you, I don't know if you remember growing up, you'd flip over a Hot Wheel and it'd say, made in China or made in Japan or whatever. If we accepted that our made in origin was the same as every single person around us, think of what this world could be like. And that's what my brother Paul and I were talking about, was that if we all accepted that, it makes disliking each other a little harder. It makes arguing with one another a little bit more difficult. It makes the name calling ridiculous as it already is, by the way. And if you are one of those people that are calling names, stop it. it. We've had enough of it in our society. We've had enough of the name calling. Let's be okay with things that are a little bit different because we share that one thing that in all of us is exactly the same. And that is we are made in the image of God. So I hope you'll celebrate that. And I hope you'll accept my short rant as um, some sort of inspiration and some sort of um, a, a possible mechanism for bringing peace to our society. So thanks for watching and take care.